Hey guys, welcome back to Eileen's World. In this video, join me as I spend the day at Tokyo Disney Sea, the one and only Disney park with a sea theme. If you're planning to visit Tokyo Disney soon, then this video is for you. I'll be sharing some of my tips to help you plan your day there, along with showing you the rides and mostly all the food that I ate. If you plan on visiting both Disney parks while you're in Tokyo, then I also have a Tokyo Disneyland guide for you. And since you'll also be in Tokyo, you can also watch my Tokyo travel guide. We bought our one day passport tickets for 8,400 yen or about $64 per person on Kluke. In my experience, purchasing tickets on Kluke is much quicker and easier than trying to purchase them on the official Tokyo Disney website. And redeeming the ticket is super simple. Once you're at the park entrance, they'll scan the QR code from your digital ticket. And if you want 5% off your Tokyo Disney Sea tickets on Kluke, you can use code Eileen's World. Unlike the Disney parks back in the States, Tokyo Disney Sea does not offer any kind of park hopping or multi-day tickets. However, if you're watching this video at the time of upload, summer two-day passports are available from July 21st to August 28th. If you don't plan on spending the entire day at the park, you can purchase an early evening or weeknight ticket for a lower price. During peak season, I would advise to purchase your tickets as soon as possible since tickets can definitely sell out. Tokyo Disney Sea can easily be reached by train from Tokyo City Center. We stayed in the Shinjuku Ikebukuro area and it took us around an hour to get to the park with a couple transfers. Once you get off at the Mahima Station, follow the signs to the Disney Resort Line monorail, which has a stop at Tokyo Disney Sea. You can purchase a monorail ticket at the station or tap your IC card. Be prepared, no matter what day of the week you go on, you'll most likely see very long lines at the entrance. We always try to get to the park an hour before it opens to start lining up. There are two park entrances, a north entrance and a south entrance. We have waited in both lines before and from our experience, the wait times are the same. The park will typically begin letting guests in before the official opening time, so it does pay off to get in line earlier. And before your visit, download the official Tokyo Disney Resort app so you can check wait times and purchase Disney Premier Access if needed. Disney Premier Access will allow you to purchase a designated time to ride on selected popular rides. If it's in your budget, this is a great option to spend less time in line and maximize your time at the park. So it took us uh... before we start, I want to say that this was my second visit to Tokyo Disney Sea, and I had one more visit planned after this. So in this video, I'll show you everything that I realistically was able to do in one day. And at the end of the video, I'll add the other rides that I recommend or was able to ride on another visit to help you plan your day. Pretty much an hour from the time we got off of the train, the Disney train, the one that leads you into the park to actually inside. And it's packed and there are already 90 minute lines everywhere. All right, we are getting breakfast, or we got breakfast. So we got a Mike's custard melon pan. And I think this is the specialty donut with chestnut and berry filling and a latte for me. Mm, this is where all that melon flavor is at in the inside. You break off the ear. Good. I'm good. It's not too sweet. Oh, It's just a little insane in here. We are stopping by one of the stores right now just because why not? And look at what they have. Here's my latte cup. And here is the purse version of it. Cute. The merch here is next level. So look at this. It's like a hot dog. It's a Disney Resort hot dog. Splits open in the middle. And what it is, is like a uh, handle carrier. So you put in your hand, the bag handle. So I guess you can hold it more comfortably. And look, it's a churro. I don't think it does anything. It says, oh, the churro pops out. We found Pinocchio and his minions. So the lines are just absolutely crazy right now in every ride, so we're just going to get food. So we're currently in line for a gyoza sausage bun, which I've had before. It's basically like a long, long bun. And they also have hot wine, which, I'm which I am interested to try. Okay, we got snacks in hand. We are finally going to get in line for our first ride, which is going to be 20,000 leagues under the sea. Let me show you guys what I got. The sausage gyoza and some hot wine.
Here's what the gyoza bun looks like. It's literally the filling of a gyoza inside a bun. Mm. It's citrusy. It's definitely hot. Feels like Christmas in Japan. <laughs> Well, I've been banished from line because I had alcohol, so Jose's in line and I'm just gonna chug this. The wait time is 45 minutes and even though the line is like super long, the thing is that it goes by very quickly. Or at least you're continuously moving so it doesn't feel as long. <laughs> We just finished up the ride. It was more like 30 minutes versus 45, which is always nice. I feel like the estimates are always longer than what it really is anyway. It's not my favorite ride, but it is a ride that's unique to this park. We're in line at the refreshment station to get a demi-glazed churro potato, and the line is long, but nothing crazy. Nothing we haven't seen today, and they're coming by, taking our orders, asking us how many we want, and also form of payment. Here is that demi-glaze potato chur that we got, and I guess the demi-glaze is in the filling. It's like a big french fry. It's time to get some ice cream. We got the sea salt ice cream monaka. Uh, we got the Mickey ice bar tropical fruit. So how cute is this seashell? This is salty. It's like sea salt, but there's also strawberry. Next up is the Mickey ice bar tropical fruit flavor. So refreshing. As if things can't get any cuter here, at every restaurant, you're gonna find the display of all the food that's available. And look at this one here. It even has like a seashell with a pearl. I guess this is new merch here. It's the one with the balloons. They're pretty cute. We got some balloon earrings. This I'm thinking about getting to keep my all my wires together. All right, check this out. So this is Nemo, and I think this is Miso Soup. And they'll always show you what it looks like too. We have tomato soup that has like little Mickeys in it. This is the train, the Disney train that we took to get in. And look at it. It's a food tray. Ah! First popcorn stop of the day. Here's the matcha white chocolate popcorn. It's like, tastes like kettle corn. We are at the cafeteria in the Kasva. How cool is this place? All right, so we got a beef curry. This is what the tandoori chicken looks like. And this is a mango raspberry lassi. Let's try the tandoori chicken. Just finished up our lunch at the Kasba Marketplace or the Kasba Cafe. Food was all right. The lassie was good. The tandoori chicken was good, but the beef had a lot of like tendon or fat. Ugh, I don't know. I'm not down with that, so it was just all right. 
The girls that come here and the couples too, they love to dress uh, in matching sets. It's very adorable. They're in like matching schoolgirl uniforms, for example. We're now at the Cosba Marketplace, so the little gift shop that's inside the Aladdin area. And they have Sakura merch, a water bottle, cute. Got a little friend here. Konnichiwa! Now that we've had lunch, we have the energy to stand in line for our second, no, third ride of the day, Indiana Jones, which is supposed to be 70 minutes, but it's long. We, we've been in line for about an hour now, so according to the estimate, we should have about 10 minutes left. And the line is long, it's miles long, but it's, uh, it's continuously moving. You don't stand in place for a very long time, so it doesn't make it seem like it's that long. Just finished up with Indiana Jones, and in case you're curious, it's same, same, but different. It's pretty much the same as the one back in Disneyland. And Disney World just a little bit it's just tweaked a little bit but now we're to go uh, visit Mickey and Minnie they have a meet-and-greet right around the corner <laughs> we are Going to Port Discovery now, which is where you'll find the Nemo rides. I'm gonna check out the food court area and see what they have for me. So we are at, I think it's called Bayside Cafe, and we got two things. This one is limited edition. It's the hot strawberry drink, and it tastes like a, ooh, ooh, like a hot strawberry milk. mini sleeve in case you're curious this is what it looks like without the sleeve it's pink with some uh, like dehydrated strawberries on top floating on top and is that necessary next is the sushi roll with a chicken and shrimp cutlet I've come to the conclusion that I'm happy just coming here, walking, and eating. I don't necessarily need to go on any of the rides. <laughs> Alright, passed by this popcorn stand, couldn't resist because they have soy sauce and butter popcorn. Look at that. Mmm, most probably. Well, we only had matcha and white chocolate today, but I think I like this one more. Salty. Okay, so post popcorn, we found another stall that has this super cute lifesaver uh, bun. It's like a hakao filling, like a dim sum. We are now in, I was gonna say the colonial era, era, but I think it's called Cape Cod. It's Duffy's hometown. Our sweet bear Duffy that everyone is just so obsessed with over here. Got the lighthouse. I've never been to Cape Cod, but I feel like this is pretty authentic. We have Duffy and friends here, which is a big thing. 
they don't really exist in back home. <laughs> So in case you are coming and I'm sure you want to get the green dumplings, this is the place to get them, New York Deli. We got our green dumplings. They used to sell this in a cart and we had to ask a girl because we couldn't find it. Mm. We got strawberry. We have vanilla. All right, chocolate first, strawberry and then vanilla. No, no, we're not in the Venetian Hotel in Vegas. We're in the canals of uh, Disney Sea. This, so they have this little stand for you to put your little Duffy doll on, or I guess pretty much any stuffed animal, so you can take a picture. And then look at this painting right over here. So one thing I've noticed about this park is that I do believe, unlike Disneyland or Disney World, where the all the food vendors and everything, they close when the park closes. This one here, it varies. Some will close earlier, but the closing times vary. Like we just passed by a couple stalls that sold churros and they're closed. A Mexican restaurant that I actually wanted to try because I'm craving Mexican food. It's been a while. It's closed as well. It closes at 6 and the park closes at 9. So we're also trying to be strategic right now because it's about 6 o'clock and there's a water parade show that is going to happen at 7.20 so we see that a lot of people are already getting like sitting down saving spots for it so we're going to see if that's going to help with the wait times. We're going to try to squeeze in one more ride that has a longer wait time because today we've been here for nine hours and we've been on three rides but we've eaten a lot of food. Okay we are at the Magic Lamp Theater now. Relatively short wait time and I could really use uh, time to rest my feet. So this minestrone soup had a Mickey shaped piece of bread, but he's completely disintegrated in the soup. Got some creamy spaghetti with meat sauce, which we got last time and was hella good. Or this is a seasonal item. It's a chocolate cake with mango sauce. So the nightly show just started and I guess pro tip is come just a little before the show, get a seat by the window and you'll get a pretty good view. Dinner with a view. And here are the other rides that I didn't get to ride on this day, but for you to consider. This thrill ride is unique to Disney Sea and typically has a very long wait time. We purchased a Disney Premier Access for 2,000 yen to select a ride time and to have a shorter wait. This is a kid-friendly boat ride with a catchy song and a very cute tiger cub named Changdu. It's also a great option for adults who want to relax on a ride for 10 minutes. This is a roller coaster that's short but still very thrilling and the best part is that it has a single rider option. 
Arigato gozaimasu for spending the entire day with me at Tokyo Disney Sea. From my experience, one day at the park is not enough to ride all the rides and try all the food, especially during peak season. However, it's still one of my favorite Disney parks, and I hope you found this video helpful in planning your visit. If you have any questions or comments, you can always leave it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.